Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. All current art is fake. What is art? That question is at the center of manifesto. Nothing is original. One of the most talked about features at the Tribeca Film Festival, starring Kate Blanchett in a variety of roles. It was very avant-garde, but very slickly produced. And she did a brilliant job. She was really having fun with it. It wasn't just pretentious. As for the art of filmmaking itself, the festival offers an eclectic vision of where the medium, not to mention our world, is headed. I am a believer in the perfectibility. From a social media experiment that pushes the boundaries of privacy, ethics, and personal freedom, as portrayed in The Circle, starring Emma Watson, to documentaries. Like this one called City of Ghosts, about one of the most dangerous places on Earth, Raqqa, Syria. Certainly a, a political kind of thread throughout the festival this year. Uh, we have a lot of stories of activists, artist activists, people using their individual voices to make a change in the world, which we felt like was a really important message to embrace. The festival's actually showing fewer films this year than years before, but with more than 100 features and documentaries, there's still something for everyone. I have to tell you something. The quirky, genre-skirting look at mental illness called Aardvark touches on a topical issue in the U.S. You know, narrative our competition. Our bad days, right? Whereas the international submissions also manage to speak to U.S. audiences, despite their exotic settings, like this besieged election polling station in the Indian film Newton. In the film, you see that the voters say, we don't know who these candidates are. But do you really know your candidates, even if you have access to information? We don't really know what they are behind the facade that they're creating. Like most good films, it's a story audiences everywhere can relate to. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.